How's it going, reloaders and shooter? I know this project's been long overdue, but let's get this project going. So, anyway, you need the brass, and I highly recommend that you anneal the brass before you start doing this. After you anneal the brass, load them up on your uh, tumbler and clean the this brass. Is my so, die. here's this how to uh, uh, make the sacrificial die. You're going to have to sand to down the sand bottom down part, the of, the part of the die. All you have to do is find a flat surface like this piece of wood here. Place for this a sandpaper. In this case, I'm using the uh, P800 sandpaper. So, you place this on top, get the sandpaper wet, place the die on top. And what you do is you uh, send this down about three uh, circular motion. And once you've done that, you rotate it so that when you're doing this, you're sending down the bottom part evenly. I don't have the means to hold the die, you know, nice and flat. So by doing this, you kind of sending it down a lot of time and making sure it's nice and even. So when you're done that, just keep measuring. I think I did this for about 15 to 20 minutes. And... I removed approximately 0 0.005 to 0 0.006 of an inch and it measured out to 2.102.5. Okay, so that's pretty simple. Ask me if you have any more questions. On this next stage, we are going to resize and decap the cases. But first, make sure to lube the cases and make sure to lube the inside part of the case mouth as well. Using a 308 full length sizing die, decap and resize the cases. And if the case shows a lot of uh, case lube, make sure to remove that to prevent it from creating case shoulder bumps. So now using the uh, sacrificial 6.5 free mold neck sizing die, make sure to remove the decapping rod because the case is way too thick and if you have the decapping rod on that, it will crush the cases. After uh, using the uh, 6.5 free mold die, it should look like this. And now trim the cases. After you see the primer, load in the pistol powder, use 10 grains of tight group, use the toilet paper to seal it, like so, make sure it's nice and flat to uh, cover all the pistol powder down there. You can tell you did it right because it's nice and flat and there's no uh, pistol powder that shows on top of that toilet paper. Now I put in the cream of wheat all the way to the case mouth and top it off with another toilet paper and then bring it to the gun range and fire. All right, on this next step, uh, we're going to be turning the case neck. I'm using the RCBS case neck turner, and it looks like it's wobbling really bad, but actually because the way the case sits in the Lee case holder, um, it's not perfectly centered. So, But uh, anyway, I measured the uh, Hornady cases and the case mouth, measured out to from between 0 0.014 to 0 0.016 so I settled in at uh, 0 0.015 an inch and um, as long as I get it in between 0 0.015 around that area and uh, I'll be happy with it so but it should look like that but once it's uh, you're done turning the neck and that'll be it for the rest of the case life
All right, so after you're done turning the case neck, uh, what you do is uh, you're going to have to run the cases on the full length, uh, six and a half grade more dice. And after you're done with that, get the cases uh, cleaned again through the tumbler and whatnot. And then, of course, seat the primer, uh, load in your uh, powder, which is I'm using 40 grains of H4350 and 140 grain Hornady A Max bullet. So here are the results. And... Um, I made a conclusion that after 40 firings, it's actually pretty uh, good for uh, a Lapua case. Uh, although it uh, only sh it, you know, the case is still very strong and it shows very little sign of case separation, uh, it probably can go a lot more. But uh, uh, 40 times firing out of the case is adequate enough. Anyway, here's the uh, data on the ammunition. On the left is the number of times I fired a case. Second row is the uh, the length of the case. I trimmed it down to 1.911, and um, the third row is the uh, runout. I ran the um, ammunition through the uh, Hornady concentricity gauge, and it just shows you uh, that it is um, pretty decent compared to uh, factory ammunitions or the uh, Hornady uh, case. It's very, very similar to what I'm getting. So anyway, uh, although on the 23rd times that I fired it, I've noticed that the primer pocket is a little bit loose. It's not as uh, tight as it was on the, um, like you would be loading on a brand new uh, brass and whatnot. Although after I fired it, the, the, primer, the primer stays in the primer pocket. So I don't think that it was that loose, but uh, I can tell from using the uh, Lee a priming tool that uh, I'm not putting uh, that much force uh, any longer. So here's the uh, rundown of the cost. But uh, most of the tools that I use, I already own, so there's no additional cost to making this case. Anyway, I yeah, hope you uh, enjoyed the video and y'all have fun reloading and shooting out there. Till next time.